Lesson 11.10, Describe Equal Parts. This is Lesson 11.9 in the 2012 copyright. We can find half of a shape by dividing the shape into two equal parts and shading one of the parts. We divided the circle into two equal parts and shaded one of the parts. This pink part is half of the circle. This pink part is half of the rectangle. We can find a third of a shape by dividing the shape into three equal parts and shading one of the parts. That's a third of the rectangle. We divide the circle into three equal parts. We shade one of the parts. That's a third of the circle. We can find a fourth of a shape by dividing it into four equal parts and shading one of the parts. This is one fourth of the square. This is one fourth of this square. This is one fourth of the circle. In different shapes, the size and the shape of the parts can be different. Half of a rectangle is shaped differently than half of a circle, triangle, square, or hexagon. Each shape is different, so half of each shape will be different. Each shape is different, so a third of each shape will be different. A third of each shape is shaded. Each shape is different, so a fourth of each shape will be different. A fourth of each shape is shaded. One of four equal parts is also called a quarter of the shape. One fourth is the same thing as one quarter. We can think of a circle as a clock face. One hour is 60 minutes. And 15 minutes on a clock is a quarter of an hour. It's a fourth of an hour. It's one of four equal parts. 15 minutes is one of four equal parts of an hour. And 30 minutes on a clock face is half of an hour. The shape with the greatest number of equal parts will have the smallest parts. And the shape with the fewest number of equal parts will have the largest parts. This circle is split into four equal parts. This one's split into only three equal parts. This part is smaller than this part because we have more parts. So each piece is smaller. This one has fewer parts, so each part is greater. Here we have half of a pizza. It's one of two equal parts. It's half. We read it like this with a one, a bar, and then the two. It means one of two equal parts. Here's a third of a pizza. It's one of three equal parts. We write it with a one, then the bar, and a three. It's one of three equal parts. Here's a fourth of a pizza. It's one of four equal parts. We write it with a one, then a four underneath the bar. And you can see this is in fewer parts. There's only two parts. It's one of two parts. So this is a much larger piece of pizza than the fourth. This was split into four parts. This was split only into two parts. So this has greater size parts than the fourth or the third. So the fewer the parts, the bigger the piece. These three cards are the same size. But this one was folded into halves, this one was folded into thirds, and this one was folded into fourths. We can see the more we folded it, the smaller the parts became. The half is a much greater part than a third or a fourth. Our next lesson, 11.11, .11, is going to be word problem solving about equal shares. 
And we're going to see how drawing a diagram can help us. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you join me next time. Bye.